Well, I think a presidential campaign is like a, a, a massive startup. So you think of businesses that start up and need to grow quickly, hire a lot of people. That's what a presidential campaign is. You know, if you look at 2008, um, you know, we obviously became the nominee, but not till June. Um, but we believed in data and we believed in social media. And we, in the very beginning of that campaign, there was very few people for Barack Obama who might be considered establishment. The one place where we had outside support in the beginning was in the technology community. And so when we talked to our supporters, they'd say, don't think about having a better website than Hillary Clinton or George Bush or John McCain. You've got to have the kind of digital experience that people have when they shop on Amazon or they go to the BBC or the New York Times or they're on Facebook. So they set a high bar for us and we tried to meet it. In 2012, obviously, we had a lot more time to prepare and, and you know, social media uh, usage and I think innovations there were important, but the real leap in terms of innovation was data. And it was a decision that was not without controversy in our world because it was a lot of money, we built it early, um, and the question was what, how much would it mean at the end? And the truth is we ran a much better campaign because we just had better data and the models that came out of that data um, than anybody else did. People always ask me, well, it must have been nice to know what was gonna happen. Well, no, that wasn't why we had data and modeling. Uh, we used it to make decisions, how to spend money, how to allocate time, could we win a state or not. My view is, if you can know something, know it. If you can model it, model it. And I still think there's probably too many folks and organizations who probably haven't had that ingrained enough, at least up to the decision-making level.